he threatens to take him to jail. For what? Uh, you can do what you want to do. I can't stop. I don't want to take you to jail. Go ahead and put your hands on the ground. Wow. Do this a different way then. Do it a different way where your ego can put him in the dungeon and it's totally unfair. I didn't think we could use this around, man. Unbelievable. This is the 2001 case of Atwater versus City of Lago Vista that allows this to happen. Hey everybody, welcome to Delete Laws. My name is Chile Castro. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I've been doing this for a long time on YouTube for the past couple years. If I'm ever not here, please check my website, deletelaws.com, to find out where I'm streaming from. We cannot trust these social media companies. Within every single social media company is the FBI and the CIA. They're demonetizing and shadow banning most of my videos now. It's really horrible. So the way that you can help that is to drop a like, a comment, and a share, and share these videos with your friends and family. So I wanna show you guys something. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys some videos. You're gonna see exactly that the cops can no longer hide exactly the jackboot thug pigs that they are. Do me a favor, type down in that comment section, O-T-V-O, overturn Terry versus Ohio. See where the cursor is? On the side of the gas pump here, you can see that this jackboot thug pig has his emergency lights on. That is your clue to not say a single solitary word to him, not a word. I send pictures of my wife the price of the gas here every right. day when I come through. Okay, look. So, hey, hey, here's, the deal, okay. here's the deal. You heard it here first. Here's the deal. I, I hear you, man. I, I'm, I'm, I, but, I understand. Uh, I don't, one, I don't appreciate the attitude. He doesn't appreciate the attitude. You're the one who has pulled him over for no reason at all. You made up that he was reckless driving, wasn't, and then you said he had an attitude. I get it. You're upset. Nobody likes cops pulling him. You understand. So leave him alone. He likes it. Okay. But you know you did wrong. You know you, you, know you did wrong. We'll just got through the parking lot. And instead of being like, Oh yeah, I messed up. Sorry, it won't happen again. You should never say that. Listen to what this jackboot thug pig told him to say. And instead of being like, oh yeah, I messed up. Sorry, it won't happen again. You want to sit here and go back and forth with it. There's a lot better things than, than this to be doing for you. You're man. right. I was working on a you report. You be over here. The, I mean, there's people right now running out of power on the You thing. want to go to jail? So, for what? You want to go to jail? You could go to jail for this. He threatens to take him to jail. For what? Uh, you can do what you want to do. I can't stop. I don't want to take you to jail. No. That's that is definitely a waste of my time. Okay, but the attitude is not necessary. I agree. Okay, so he says the attitude is not necessary, and he said I agree. I'm I'm breaking this down because I already watched this earlier. Put a one in the chat if the cop is a jackboot thug pig. Camera's very good. That's fine. I have a camera. I, I can't okay. be rude to you. Okay. Load of crap. All right. Load of I will crap. get in trouble. You go file a complaint based on my behavior. They will decide whether or not to give me in trouble. Not, right? I, yeah. I, yeah. I'm not worried about that. We're okay. good, man. Okay, I'll make sure that I'm there all the time. If I see it happen again, then wow. okay. we'll go from there, okay? okay? All right. I'll look that law up. I'll probably drop it too. I don't believe you'd have the authority to do anything here on this, on this parking lot like that. Well, I could also take but, you to jail for class B reckless driving. That's it right there. Class, that's why I came back here. Driving. Did you hear what he I'll said? This guy flexes his rights, and that triggers this pig, and he's going to get arrested. Here is why you don't talk to these pigs, unless, of course, you want them to put you in torture cuffs because they can. There's no third party to come in and investigate. It'll be cops investigating cops. Listen to these words right here. You need to jump class B reckless driving. Okay. Or class, I'm sorry, class A reckless okay. driving. There it is right there. If this man had followed my cop card, it says, Number one, cop cited, start filming and say, I invoke my First Amendment right. Then number two, cop approaches and states alleged infraction or questions you. While filming, you say, and you have to give them all required documents, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. The Fifth Amendment is unequivocal. Cop loses his qualified immunity for questioning you any further. You have to have my 5A cop card on you so that you can show the copper and then you can show the camera that you showed the copper. I didn't almost hit anybody. I was nowhere near. There's, there's cameras everywhere. You can do what you want to do, Harold. I can't stop you. If you want to be this way, then that's up to you. I'm trying to be a reasonable Are you person. Having a bad day, I, sir? I think Is there that, a reason why you're acting? No, I'm having a bad day because I, you're, I, have I because my you're doing you this to me. Have I raised my voice to you at all, sir? You're the only one who's getting upset. I'm upset because I think this is big. I think this whole thing is big. You're threatening to take me to jail. No, and so I shouldn't be getting upset. I don't call it a threat, sir. It's no, it's a threat. It's a so that is a threat. You're threatening me under color of law now to, to take something on color property, which I don't believe you even have the authority to do. Now you're term, sir. Okay. It comes from black laws. No, it's dictionary. not. It's a class A misdemeanor for you to threaten or arrest me over something that you know it's not really true. But that's well, okay. What's the penal code on that, sir? We're good. I don't feel like we are. I feel like this is. Uh... <laughs> 
this is this is a problem. How is, that, like how is it a problem? I how feel like you're going problem? to continue to, to commit these behaviors that are unsafe and put people at risk. So you don't feel like you did anything wrong. Some possible they may do in the future. So we're now now we're playing John Club Van Dam Future Cop, but you're gonna you need to stop me from something I may do in the future. That's now your position. All this talking is slowly but surely digging his grave, and he's gonna go to the dungeon in torture cuffs. I know you want compliance. To stop I know. I know you want voluntary compliance. I know you want voluntary compliance. Okay, let me put you in the middle. Wow. Wow. Look at that. You hear the click, 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 getting put in torture cuffs. Black hat. The other male is going to be a little bit older with a black shirt, black boots, sitting pants. Do this a different way. Then. Do it a different way where your ego can put him in the dungeon and it's totally unfair. Uh, what is like? injury on my left arm? Uh, um, well, I mean, I don't. Would you like two sets of handcuffs? No, my head hurts. Is it right? Well, sir, I'm concerned that you're going to continue to do this unsafe behavior. So wow, look at the, I'm I just want to show this again real quick. Take a look at that. And just so you know, the Supreme Court has said you're not arrested. You're only being detained. His wrists are shackled behind his back. His shoulders are burning. He just said he needs two sets of cuffs because his shoulders hurt. And now they're putting him inside of a cage, shutting the door and strapping him in. But you're not arrested yet. The Supreme Court changed the meaning of the word seized to detained. Can't use the word seized. You're only detained. Look at that. What a hole. Look at that. Look at look look at his face, the guy who's being stuffed into the dungeon. Look at him. He's like, oh my God, you're gonna put me in there. You want two sets of handcuffs? This hurts, man. It hurts. I can do two sets of handcuffs. I cannot believe that you're doing this, dude. Well, I mean, it, it didn't have to go this way. No, it never did. None of this ever had to be You talked. I didn't think we did you, sir. Unbelievable. This is the 2001 case of Atwater versus City of Lago Vista that allows this to happen. Let's get into the facts of the case real quick so you understand why this gentleman can get arrested. Facts of the case under Texas lots of misdemeanor punishable at only a fine either for a front seat passenger in a car equipped with safety belts not to wear one or for the driver to fail to secure any small child riding in the front. In 1997, Gail Atwater was driving her truck in Lago Vista. Neither of Atwater's children who were sitting in the front seat was wearing a seatbelt. Lago Vista policeman Bart Turek observed the violation and pulled over Atwater. Ultimately, Atwater was handcuffed, placed in jail, and released on bond. Atwater then filed a lawsuit against Turk's actions that had violated her Fourth Amendment right to be free of unreasonable searches and seizures. In granting the summary judgment, the district court ruled that the claim meritless. In affirming the en banc court, of appeals held that the arrest was not unreasonable under the Fourth Amendment because no one disputed that Turek had probable cause to arrest Atwater, and there was no evidence the arrest was conducted in an extraordinary manner, unusually harmful to Atwater's privacy interests. So the constitutional question is, does the Fourth Amendment, either by incorporating common law restrictions on misdemeanor arrests or otherwise, limit a cop's authority to arrest without a warrant for a minor criminal offense? No. And take a look by ideology. Conservatives, there's your conservative Supreme Court personnel. There they are. Well, conservative Supreme Court personnel are cop suckers to the max. And by the way, O'Connor is a conservative as well. She voted with the three liberals on the left. Souter is supposed to be a liberal, but he's sided with the conservatives that cops can arrest you for even the most minor infraction. When you get pulled over, you take your camera, you film the cop, and then no matter what the cop says, you simply, and politely if you want to, I'm a little more aggressive, you say, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. That's how you do it, that's what you do, that's the way you do it. Like this and like this. You have to say the words, Fifth Amendment, I invoke the right to remain silent. You have to actually say those words. I've showed you guys 10 times this week, Salinas versus Texas, 2013. The unelected, appointed, elitist monarchs on the Supreme Court are constantly working against us. You saw Atwater versus City of Lago Vista. You have to have the literature in your hand to go around their qualified immunity. You have to have the camera in your other hand to prove that you showed that you you told him, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Don't ask me where I'm coming from, where I'm going, where I've been, if I've been drinking. None of these things. Don't ask me if I have a gun. I'll take no tests. I agree to no searches and seizures. Use the address on my identification. Everything I need to provide is in the slip below. On your 5A cop card, it says right there, as soon as you get pulled over, cop sighted, start filming. 
I invoke my First Amendment right to remain silent. Turner versus Driver in upholds my right to film cops. Cop approaches and says anything. While filming, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. So why does that matter so much? Because the Supreme Court said, unelected monarchs, said that we have to verbalize that we invoke our Fifth Amendment right. 